On today's fan double feature, we have two 52-inch Litec Sheffields. Antique brass finish with oak cane blades. These are made by CEC, pretty late model CEC fans. This one here is from 1991. The one in the back is from 1990. Fans are flush mounted. They could also be installed on a down rod. GE vent, stamp steel motor. They use hugger style blade irons. A plastic teardrop pull fob. Of course, the blades are reversible to plane on top. These fans are in pretty much like new condition, and I do have the original boxes for them. I'll show you all that in a minute. Take you up close to this one down here. Pretty much the same exact thing. We're going to run this one here in updraft for purposes of the testing. And this one's going to be run on downdraft. And before I forget, I need to turn these down to low. And we'll go ahead and flip the switch and get these started. Got both these fans from a buddy of mine. He was cleaning out his collection, so I bought these off of him. He requested me to put these in my game room here, replacing the 36 inch originals that I've had in here for quite a few years now. So I did just that. Typically, I'm not a big fan of using 52 inch fans in this room. However, since these are flush mounted, they actually work pretty well. So low speed here, a bit fast for average. These do make an audible hum to them, which is par for the course for these late model CEC products. Go up to medium. These motors do make a moan sound to them when they're spinning up as well. Pretty decent medium. And we'll go to high. So surprisingly, these fans do take off and fly on high speed. Say blade pitch is around 11, 12 degrees. But surprisingly, with the RPMs they're cranking, they move a pretty decent amount of air, even flush mounted. It seems like updraft is a bit slower than downdraft is. But extend. The vibrations you hear are probably from the mounting bracket on the ceiling. Pretty decent performing fans for what they are. We'll go ahead and let them coast. And while they're coasting down, we'll show you the boxes. So yeah, believe it or not, this, these are two separate boxes here. These are very short boxes. And the way these fans are packaged within them is that everything's disassembled. You have to put the whole fan together. Switch housings disassembled off the motor. Motor housings disassembled off the motor. You got to put all that together. So pretty interesting how they're set up. 
Here's a down rod off of one of them. Plastic hanger ball. Four, four and a half inch down rod. And here's the installation instructions here. You can see someone penciled in, purchased June 22nd of 1991 from Clover. Flip through the instruction manual here. Yeah. So the switch housings are detached and they use a collar system to hold them in place and they use a Molex connector to plug everything into them. I put the whole motor housing together. Pretty simple instructions. Warranty card here, five year limited warranty from Litex. Yeah, these fans were optioned with antique brass, bright brass, white and brass, or white finishes. And you had the option of plain or cane blades, which doesn't really make sense because these blades are reversible from plain to cane, so. I don't know why they would have two different options listed, but whatever. Price tag from the Clover store, 60 bucks per fan. Pretty much the same thing on these other two sides here. Fender tags. So on and so forth. So yeah, pretty cool fans. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video on these two 52 inch antique brass Litex Sheffield ceiling fans from 1990 and 1991. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, stay cool. Take care. Peace.